Hello Koala Campers, Jessica here. Welcome once again to our Koala Corner. Thank you for joining me for our arts and crafts project for today. Today we will be making a honeybee on a honeycomb. So this is what we're going to be making today. Here's a picture of it so you can see. So this is our model that we're going to use today. So let's get a quick rundown of what we're going to be using. We have our liquid glue. We are going to need a pencil, our scissors, our markers. I do have two pipe cleaners, one long gold one and half of a black one. We are going to be using pom-poms, one yellow and one black. A mini clothespin and we do have our little mini Google eyes that we'll be using today for our honeybee. And we have our honeycomb template. So these are the materials we are going to be using today for our honeybee. So there it is once again. So let's begin. First thing we're going to do is we are going to color our honeycomb. So I'm going to grab my yellow marker. Um, if you prefer to use crayons or colored pencils or both or your markers, uh, please use whichever one is your favorite. I'm going to use my yellow marker today. So all I'm going to do is shade in my honeycomb till I get it yellow. We're going to shade that in. Once again, um, use your crayons or your colored pencils or your markers as I am doing, or you can use all three. We're just going to shade that in yellow till we have it completely covered. Try to get all the edges in. Then once we color this in, uh, we're going to cut this out. There we go. Okay, so let me hold that up for you. So we've got our honeycomb yellow. So now we're going to cut this out. So we'll cut it out together. Um, if you are needing some extra time with the cutting and coloring, please feel free to pause the video and then you can continue once we're done. So we're going to cut this out all along the edges. And once we finish with our honeybee, it's going to go glued on top of our honeycomb. And this honeycomb is out of cardstock paper. Um, when we glue our honeybee on top of the cardstock paper, um, it'll stick and set nice because um, the paper is not so flimsy. So there we go. We're going to put this aside. So we've got our honeycomb cut out. Okay, now we're going to start our honeybee. So we have our mini clothespin that we're going to be using and we're going to put the honeybee's antenna and wings on first. So we are going to need our gold pipe cleaner and we're going to make it into a circle. So we're going to crisscross it on top and we're just going to twist it. Pipe cleaners will hold in place. Once you twist it, it'll stay in place so that our circle is closed. So once you gather it, twist it, you will have your circle and we're going to grab it and we're going to twist it right in the middle so that it forms two, two pieces. So that's going to be the shape of your wings. Okay. So we grabbed our circle, we um, twisted it in half and it forms two wings, just as you see here on our honeybee. Okay. So we're going to grab our clothespin and there's no glue needed for this one. We're just going to push it in as far down as it'll go and the clothespin will hold it in place for you. So there you go. Okay. So that is our wings. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is if you see our honeybee here, 
We have our antennas. We're gonna put the honeybee antenna on next. So we have our smaller pipe cleaner. So what we're gonna do is, if you notice on your clothespin, there's a tiny hole up on top. So we're gonna run the pipe cleaner through the hole about halfway. So it's gonna look like that. And this one is no glue needed as well. We're just gonna flip it up and we're gonna twist it on the top. And your clothespin will also hold it in place. Okay, we're gonna use our pencil to curl our antenna. Okay, just gonna give it a quick little curl. Curl that one, and then curl this one. And you can curl it um, as much as you like. Okay, so there we go. So, once again, there's no glue needed for these pipe cleaners, the clothespin will hold it in place, okay? You can position them if you want them facing out, you can. If you want to face them in, you can. Uh, pipe cleaners are pretty easy to bend, they're pretty flexible, so you're able to position them however you'd like. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to glue on our pom-poms. I'm gonna glue on our black one first and then our yellow. As you can see here, this is gonna make the body of our honeybee. Okay, so we're gonna grab our liquid glue and I'm gonna put some glue on the top. Um, it'll need some time to set in place, but once it sets and stays flat, um, it'll set and you'll be able to pick it up and move it around once your material's all um, dry. So we've got our black one and we've got our yellow one. We're gonna glue them on. So that's gonna be the body of our honeybee. And then we have our tiny Google eyes, okay? So as we're gluing this on, an interesting fact I came along across of honeybees, there are actually 20,000 species of honeybees of different types. So our honeybee is just one type, but there are 20,000 species of bees. So that's pretty interesting. That's, that's a lot of bees. And also, when we think about how long a second is, honeybees actually flap their wings 200 times per second. That is very fast. So that's very interesting to know. So we've got our honeybee. So as you can see, we've got our model, we've got our honeybee. And if your materials shift a little bit, that's okay. Once it sets and dries nicely, it'll stay in place. The last step we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our honeycomb and we're gonna glue our honeybee to our honeycomb, okay? And you can put it in the center, you can put it uh, on the left side, on the right side, wherever you'd like. I'm gonna put mine down toward this side at the bottom. And I'm gonna place my honeybee right there. Place my clothespin on there with my bee. And there you go. There, there is our honeybee with our honeycomb. So there we go. Thank you so much, koala campers. I'm glad you joined me on this uh, activity. I hope you had a lot of fun and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.